X-Men The Last Stand is one of those movies that gets mentioned a lot when talking about the worst Marvel movies ever made, and there's a lot here to tear apart. The story is an attempted merge of two unrelated comic book story arcs, the story of The Cure from Joss Whedon's run on The Astonishing X-Men and The Dark Phoenix Saga. The Cure storyline is actually handled fairly well. The comic book doesn't really do much with the story, and the movie really expands on it nicely. However, I dislike how Rogue is handled in it. I think it was good to have a character severely tempted to take The Cure and lead a normal life, but the way it's shown here, it just seems like she's doing it to hook up with Iceman, which is a terrible reason to take The Cure. But overall, the way The Cure is handled works fairly well. Next, we have The Dark Phoenix Saga, and apparently the movie was written by someone who never read The Dark Phoenix Saga because it feels like an afterthought. The story is so focused around Magneto and his mutant rebellion that it forces Jean into the background for most of the movie, and any story where Jean Grey is in the background cannot be The Dark Phoenix Saga. That means, of the two main storylines, one is handled fairly well, while the other is straight up butchered. So let's look at some of the details mainly characters, mainly Magneto and Xavier. Both Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen are in top form, but they are both written terribly. The idea that Xavier would be actively tinkering in Jean Grey's mind feels really wrong. He's been known to do things like that, but typically only when absolutely needed. As for Magneto, his near nonchalance at seeing Xavier murdered is shocking. We've seen him witness Xavier's death in the comic book, and his way of handling it is to become the leader of the X-Men and carry it on in the name of his dear departed friend. Not to embrace Charles is killer, and think of how cool it would have been. That moment when Charles dies and Magneto realizes how wrong he's been for all these years, and now he must bring his group of thugs and life the X-Men and hope they can defeat Dark Phoenix. Think of how much cooler a movie that would have been, instead of we get Magneto in the woods with some friends for a while. I'm not in the group that hate this movie. There's a fair amount of good stuff here, but it is deeply flawed. Is it possible to turn off your brain and enjoy this movie well enough for its runtime? Sure. Does that make it necessarily any good? Not enough to recommend. Hey, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And if you really love this video, consider visiting my Patreon page. 